I've brought three of the smartest ovens around to this pop-up baking school in Birmingham and had them all professionally installed. This Samsung Dual Cook Flex is the cheapest oven on test today. This AEG is our mid-priced offering. And the most expensive is this Hoover Vision. And helping me test them is great British Bake Off alumnus Selassie Gormita. He starred in the seventh series of the show and came in a very respectable fourth place. What do you normally look for in an oven? I need to make sure that the heat distribution is good. Um, I, look, I, I like to see through the oven, so you know, it needs to be clear. Do you use any particular features on it quite a lot? I'm a big fan of the fan oven. Well, hopefully he'll be a fan of my smart ovens. We've got six hours and three tests, which I'm sure okay. will be yeah, easily accomplished with somebody of your expertise. Our first test is basic cooking ability. Today, we're yep. going to be making my famous chocolate cookies. These cookies need to be cooked evenly, so the heat distribution is very important here. Despite me being more gooseberry than Maryberry, Selassie has agreed to let me help. You've got it. That's pretty good. With my cookie balls perfectly formed, it's time to get baking, and we're starting with the Samsung. Got a 75 litre capacity. Okay. And reduced friction telescopic arms for the shelf. That's pretty fancy. Hmm. Another neat trick of this oven is that it has a fast preheat setting. Okay, that's time. interesting. It also has a catalytic self-cleaning rear panel. Excessive grease can be wiped off after a special cleaning cycle, and you can operate it via an app. Perfect. So shut the door. I kind of like the display here. It's yep. really good, quite easy buttons to play around. The second batch of cookies is going into the AEG. Mid-priced out of the three, okay. 71 litre capacity, so slightly smaller. This oven has full pyrolytic self-cleaning. Food residue is heated to a very high temperature, reducing it to ash. And an integrated probe measures the temperature of your food. Now, because of its immensely efficient air circulation system, AEG claim that you can knock 10 minutes off an hour of baking and reduce the temperature required by 20 degrees. Really? Finally, the Hoover. It's the largest with a capacity of 80 litres and the most expensive. Almost completely devoid, though, of knobs and buttons. Just one control. OK, so how does it actually work with one control? It's all controlled yeah. to this giant 19-inch touchscreen. The touchscreen not only controls the oven, but also connects it to the internet, so you can do things like watch cooking tutorials. But do we need a screen and an oven? I don't know. Yeah, well, it's an interesting mm -hmm. one. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, let's test it, right? Manual mode is where we need to be for this. Set the temperature. Go down to 160. OK. Then we have a timer. Let's so start. For us. Free heating's in progress. Place the food in the oven. I think it's an interesting way of controlling it. It also has an oven cam, but I'm not sure it's as good as looking through a normal oven window. Would you be better off looking at it for real rather than the camera image? Personally, yes. It looks a bit blurry, I think. And with that, our biscuits are done. It's time for the taste test, and the Samsung's up first. It's a bit crunchy on the outside. Bad doughy on the inside. Which is that's not quite cooked enough. Bit of a bad start. Next, the AEG. It's uh, got a crunchier edge and it's baked it properly in the inside. Exactly. It's given us a really good bake. Finally, the Hoover. Ooh. It's similar to... The Samsung. The Samsung. The winner of test one is undoubtedly the AEG. Yes. They all taste good, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On to my next test, the grill. What have you chosen here? Mac and cheese. Um, the only reason is we love to see cheese bubbling um, ah. in the oven. From stone cold, we'll see how speedily each oven gets up to temperature and cooks the food properly. And the Birmingham Bakes head chef, Emma, is lending us a hand to get them all underway. OK, everybody, three, two, one, grill! After just six minutes, the Samsung's mac and cheese is done. Ah, jolly good. Yeah, perfect. Mm. It's closely followed by the AEG, which finishes just 90 seconds later. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And as for the Hoover... Let's see. Mm. Mm. Well, that took over 15 minutes to finish cooking and takes last place. After a quick taste test, it's time for the results. So first place, Samsung, second place, AEG, yep. last place, the Hoover. So, with the Samsung and AEG winning one test each, it's on to the final round, which is all about their smart credentials. The Samsung's big selling point is its clever use of space. 
The dual cook is called the dual cook for a very important reason. While you can treat it as a single oven, you can also slide in this divider, put it there, and then it becomes two separate ovens in which you can cook two different things for different times at different temperatures and perform this wonderful party trick with the door. <laughs> because we've got a sponge cake which we need to bake at 180 for 15 minutes here. And we've got our tomato sauce with cod which we're going to bake at 170 for 20 minutes. The fish on the bottom, please. Fish in the bottom. Yep. Bottom oven, 170. Use my little door. You control it remotely from the app, so you can okay. do all the settings, like for the top oven, got it there at uh, 180. 80. I've got the bottom oven down to 170 at 20 minutes. I can send those settings from the train or anything like that when I'm on my way home okay. and start it off. That's Let's... quite impressive. Oh, OK, we've got action. Next, the AEG, which cooks with different types of heat at the same time. You uh, pour water in this slot here and the oven combines varying amounts of steam with conventional heat. The aim being to get a crispy exterior and a moist middle. It's pretty impressive. And Silas's crispy duck is going to test this feature out. That's perfect. There we go. Good. We're using the cooker's inbuilt probe to monitor the core temperature of our bird. Finally, the Hoover, which is getting a giant Yorkshire pud. With our ovens at full steam, it's time to see if we could get online on the Hoover's screen. We see good food, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Now, like the Samsung, you can also download an app for this and control it remotely. And indeed, look at the camera from elsewhere in your house or okay. wherever you are. I mean, that's impressive. In due course, the fish, duck, Yorkshire puddings and scrummy sponge cake are all done. What, what's the verdict on the ovens? Um, ooh, the Samsung has been great, but I'm not too sold on the preheating function. And then we move on to the AEG. It's very difficult to sort of operate the other yes. buttons, but I do like the steam function and I do like the heat distribution because we delivered perfect cookies with that, so that was great. And the Hoover, um, I do like the soft close function, but I'm not too sure about the camera because I don't know if you noticed earlier, when it got really hot, you couldn't actually see the Yorkshire. So which is the winner? If I was to change my oven, I think I'd go for the AEG. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Most enjoyable. Yeah. Shall we feast? Yes. yes. I'm going to try the Yorkshire pudding. Let's do that. I'm surprised. I thought the Hoover would have cleaned up. <laughs> no, no, no. The app didn't work on the day. The grill time was far too long and the screen's just a gimmick. It was just a joke, John. I was, though, very impressed with your handling of the chocolate balls. Who knew that that was the way to bake cookies? And it's great because you get to see the ball form into the ideal cookie. On the Hoover screen. No, 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 don't be silly. The other ovens had excellent lights in them. You can see much better through the glass. I really like the Samsung dual cooker. I think I'd use that functionality a lot. I like the dual oven, but the Samsung wasn't fully self-cleaning, whereas the AEG is, and the AEG undoubtedly cooked better. It would be a bit like, where's your dad? He's playing with the oven door again. <laughs>